So for about the seventh or eighth time, the 12 volt battery on the Kia has died. It's not uncommon for that kind of thing to happen in cold weather, but as you'll see from this video, it wasn't the cold weather that did it. It was the e Nero not being good enough at topping up the 12 volt battery. Well, this is a bit of a novelty. We don't normally get snow down here in Canterbury. Okay, so I've, I'm pretty definite that the car's not gonna open today. I think the 12 volt is flat. I've got battery monitor plugged in and that tells me all the time uh, what the charge of the 12 volt is. And last night it didn't look like it got charged up at all. If I check now, it says low power. 11.9 volts, which is actually 0% charge on the 12 volt battery. So clearly it's dead. So what's going to happen, I'm going to try and open the car and it's not going to work. What we might get, although I think it's completely flat, we might get the windscreen, um, the side mirrors might start to open out very, very slowly, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's even going to do that. So let's give it a go. Unlock the car. There you go very slowly. So that's a good sign that, you know, it's, it's dead. And battery monitor tells me car cranking voltage is 6.31 volts, which sounds pretty low to me. Okay, so I'm gonna top up the 12 volt or jump start the car effectively. Um, first of all, did, well, I'm actually, oh and the car's locking itself again. What I probably need to do is open the keys and get out the normal key. So press that little button, and it, which is difficult when it's so cold. There we go, and there, there's the normal key. And there we go, and then it's open. I love snow. So now it's time to open the bonnet and uh, jumpstart the battery. Before I do that, I'm just going to try and turn it on. And it comes up the key not detected, which is what it does when, uh, when the 12 volts dead. So let's open the bonnet. It's not ideal con conditions, is it, for doing this? But I don't want to leave the 12 volt depleted for too long because it damages the 12 volt battery. This is the battery monitor thing that I've got, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's connected there. Hopefully connecting this is not going to be a problem at the same time. Um, we do positive first. Hopefully it's going to stay on there. Positive first. And then we do negative. And that's doing click, click, click. So I'm going to start the car. And then disconnect that. And now let's check battery monitor and see what it's doing. So you can see that it was right down the bottom. It really was zero. Uh, now I've turned on the car, it's charging um, at 14 point, about 14.7 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it, ah, I'm going to leave it turned on for a good half an hour or so. Um, while I'm doing that, hopefully that will just give it enough charge on the 12 volt. Okay, so I've got lots of stats to talk about, so let's get in the car and I'll turn on the heater. So firstly, I just want to say how good this is. This battery monitor too is fantastic. I would really recommend it. It's 30 pounds well spent. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit technical now. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the battery monitor app. And I'm just gonna go through the last days, the last few days and just explain what's been going on. Because it proves, I think it proves two things. One is that the 12 volt battery itself is, is actually fine. So there doesn't appear to be a problem with that. Although I'm not an expert in anything to be honest i'm not an expert in batteries though so um but it looks to me like it's okay um and i've asked uh, someone else 
to check on their eNero and they've got the same app and it shows the same. So without further ado, let's look at the graphs. All right, so uh, what you can see, you can see a little spike at the top here um, at 51 minutes past midnight and then it spikes up to 14.7 volts. That's when it's charging it up. And that was auxiliary battery saver. And it does that for 20 minutes. And then it kind of dips down. So you can see a spike while it's charging. It goes up to 14.7 volts while it's charging. And then it dips down. And it dips down at first to about 12.9. And then it slowly throughout the day, it gets less and less and less. You know, really not much, but uh, it does get less. And then you can see there are two spikes. I think I just went shopping or something like that then. But you can see it did start, it was 12.79, and then I did the two trips, and then it's 12.68. Which doesn't sound like much difference, does it, in the grand scheme of things, but in a 12 volt battery, I, I just feel like uh, it, every, every little bit counts. Shouldn't have to worry about this kind of thing. Anyway, okay, so I'm just gonna zoom through the other ones. You can see that it's consistent. January 31st, there's that little bit there where the auxiliary battery saver. And I did notice before I even got this that it was doing it every night. Other people don't, notice it doing it every night but this certainly does it every night and then interestingly it moves by about 15 or 20 minutes every, forward every night I don't know I don't know why so it's not it's not every 24 hours it's like every 23 point whatever hours uh, you can see here another two little trips to the shops it's not enough to really do much uh, the the nearest shop is only like a couple of um, minutes away really so that's not enough to charge it up February 4th, it kind of dipped down but before it dipped up, I don't know why. Um, but again, you can see that this kind of pattern. Uh, February 6th, that was, when was that, was that yesterday? That was yesterday. So this is where things get a little bit more interesting. For me anyway, I'm not sure whether it's interesting for you. So um, I had to drive further yesterday. Um, so I had to drive there and drive back and stop at another shop. So um, it was uh, quite a bit of activity. So it dipped down to 12.71-ish, um, and then it goes up. You can see when I started the car, it goes up to 4.7. So that's when you've got the DC to DC converter, and it's your whole car is not being powered by the 12 volt. It's being powered by the, the high voltage battery. So you can see that dipped up, and then I obviously went wherever I was going, and then that stopped. And then, went, and then I left again, and it goes up again, and then again, and then it goes down. So... Uh, we'd gone from 12.71-ish to 12.6162, something like that. And then, and then it was fine for a bit. Now, this is the bit that killed it. And this, this is the same as what happened previously when the, the battery was flat for my wife. I just moved the car. I literally, I had, but there was some, someone parked badly on my, on my drive. And... Um, and I couldn't get in. Um, I then just moved the car somewhere else and then moved it back in the case of, in the space of a couple of minutes. And you can see there's a massive spike there um, down to 10.02 volts. I mean, it's practically dead. And then back up to 12.31. Um, so yeah, just one minute, really one minute of turning the car on, the heating, the heater was perhaps on at that time. That wouldn't have helped, I suppose. Um, but then you can see it went to 12.3. Now at that point, it just starts getting less and less. And ordinarily, I'd have battery saver kick in at like whatever it was, two in the morning. But there wasn't even enough voltage in the 12 volt to manage to do that. And then you can see it gets less and less and less. And then, you know, it dies, it dies completely. And then I kind of revived it uh, just recently. So uh, this tells this tells me a couple of things. Firstly, uh, battery saver. It seems like it's on a. It seems like it's on a kind of a schedule, and it doesn't want to deviate from that schedule very much. Now, looking at that, I feel like it probably the moment I stopped the car, it should have kicked in. It should have known that the voltage was low. My main argument with this is that you just shouldn't have to worry about this kind of thing in any car, let alone an electric one that's got the enormous battery underneath that it can do something with. You know, it's it seems odd. I mean, also, I don't know why it dipped down so much anyway, that 12 volt, because I didn't leave the car running. I certainly didn't leave the car running. Even if I did, if, if the car was running, that would have been fine. Okay, so I definitely didn't leave the car 
not in ready mode. If it's not in ready mode, that's when you turn it on. If you turn on the car without putting your foot on the brake, then it's in the sort of the, the kind of mode where it just uses up the 12 volt battery. That definitely wasn't the case. So the drop in voltage is purely to do with starting the car in, in the first place, you know, twice, because I started it twice in kind of quick succession, like one minute after another. But then quite why it dip, had to dip down so much, I don't know, that just seems, that seems odd, doesn't it? So looking at that, I don't believe there's an issue with the 12 volt battery, apart from perhaps the 12 volt battery being not fit for purpose and they should put a better one in the car. That's not the problem so much. I think it's just the car just doesn't deal with it very well. Perhaps if the battery was better, then it wouldn't have such a, an issue. But um, I think it's quite interesting looking at that. And um, the, the battery monitor thing is fantastic because I wouldn't have known otherwise. But clearly Kia, I think, have to do something about that. This isn't an isolated incident. So this has happened to me several times before and I didn't um, I didn't realise that just that kind of short burst of doing something, just like moving a car, which you shouldn't have to worry about, I wouldn't have thought that that would really make a difference. But clearly it does. The 12 volt doesn't keep as much charge when it's freezing temperatures. So last night it would have gone down to about minus one or something. And it, um, I believe it that kills it by about 20% or something. But again, the car knows, you know, it knows what the temperature is. It's not, it's not that stupid. So it should kick in. The battery saver should kick in sooner than that. Lockdown and freezing weather is not good for, it's not good for the e-Nero, certainly. Um, as I say, if you are just moving the car or, or something, or just going out, turning it on and then turning it off again quickly, then you might find the same thing happens to you. Um, also, just to say that the um, the battery, the high, high voltage battery was at 75%, so it's not like it was low, um, you know, too low to do auxiliary battery saver. So those are the findings, and I hope you found this video interesting. It's a bit geekier than most of my videos, but arguably more interesting. And um, with the snow and wearing a beanie, um, it, I almost feel like I'm doing the job of Bjorn Nyland. Um, probably with far less knowledge to be honest um if you don't if you don't watch Bjorn Nyland's videos then you really should everyone knows about him these days but if you're a bit of an EV fan you'll know of him um if you don't then watch his videos because he goes into this sort of detail that molecular detail on every car that he drives so uh it's, it's worth watching but anyway I think that's probably it for now um I'm gonna go back out and make some snowmen Snow, whole snow family in fact with a snow dog so um i hope you're well wherever you are thank you very much for watching please subscribe and press the bell icon and let me know if you do find this video interesting then let me know and i'll try to do more deep dives into this sort of thing not that i really know what i'm talking about as i said but most of you commenting probably will so um, if i've made any kind of mistake let me know as always if you know what's going on with the car in fact let me know um i uh, i would love it if some kia engineers could tell me what's happening and what reasons there are for it working the way that it does um, because for me with my stupid brain it, it seems stupid it seems stupid the way it works you know but there are good reasons for everything and everything else about the car is is pretty much perfect so that makes me think that uh, they wouldn't slip up over just this 12 volt battery unless there was a good reason for it anyway i'm rambling enough thanks so much for watching and i'll speak to you later bye for now